Smart Bidding in Google Ads leverages real-time bidding to help you stay competitive during the holiday season. In this video, we'll discuss how to prepare your smart bidding for seasonal events that may cause an increase in website traffic or a change in conversion rates. It's important to remember that smart bidding can handle most seasonal events without the need to make any manual adjustments within your account. However, there are cases in which you may consider adjusting your smart bidding for seasonal events. These adjustments will be relevant to you if you've set a target CPA or target ROAS for your search or display campaigns. We'll cover the recommended action for two scenarios. Expecting a large traffic increase to your website and expecting conversion rates to drastically change. If you expect a large traffic increase to your website, you do not need to adjust your smart bidding targets. The more volume, the better for smart bidding. If you don't expect conversion rates to change drastically, target CPA and target ROAS will remain the best way to achieve your cost per acquisition and return on investment goals. Still, Ensure that your campaign budget isn't capped in order to capture the full opportunity of your campaign. If you note limited by budget in the status column of the campaign's table, this means that your budget is lower than the recommended daily budget. If you expect conversion rates to change, the recommended action depends on the type of seasonal trend you'll experience. A longer trend of three or more days, or a short spike of 24 to 48 hours. When considering how your conversion rates may change, it's important to think about your conversion lag. Conversion lag is the typical amount of time that it takes for a click to result in a conversion. On average, it takes at least one conversion cycle for smart bidding to adjust to performance changes that may result from seasonality or promotions. Think about this conversion lag when considering whether your seasonal trend is longer or shorter. During longer seasonal trends, it's expected to see a sustained increase or decrease in conversion rates. An example is if you experience a gradual increase in your conversion rate over the holiday season. For longer trends like this, your smart bidding requires no immediate action, since the shift in conversion rate is gradual. Smart bidding learns from how behavior changes on a particular day of the week in the past, so seasonality due to day of the week effects is explicitly accounted for. Also, when seasonal trends wind down, smart bidding will recognize this shift and return to your regular performance once the seasonal period is over. You may experience a short spike in conversion rates due to a seasonal event like a Black Friday sale. A short spike is a one to two day event where you want to give the algorithm more opportunity to take advantage of the seasonal event before the Google Ads system recognizes the change in conversion rate. In most cases, no action is required, since smart bidding can handle even these short-term scenarios, as long as your budget is large enough to account for the spike. If you know that conversion rates will dramatically change during the short spike, you can change the target metric in accordance with the expected change in conversion rate. Let's demonstrate. If you expect your conversion rate to increase from 2% to 4%, you can change the target metric by the same factor. This means increasing your target CPA by 2 and target ROAS by a half. This is recommended for short spikes so that the bid algorithm does not still view the predicted conversion rate to be 2%. Keep in mind that these metric adjustments are not recommended for video or shopping campaigns. To check if you need to adjust smart bidding targets, review past seasonal events to understand how conversion rates changed. If your campaign is new, we recommend using similar campaigns in your account. If you decide to adjust your target CPA or target ROAS, these adjustments should be made right when the campaign's conversion rate deviates from its usual average, and then again when the spike is over, in order to get the algorithm back down to the normal target CPA or target ROAS used in the campaign. If you have any questions or for more information, please visit the Google Ads Help Center. For more step-by-step -step videos on Google Ads implementation and optimization, check out Google Ads Tutorials.